Bless up, bless up, bless up. Wagwan over Yasso on RM TV review. Hope everyone doing good as you're watching this right now. So recently I did a video with Spice speaking about the angel, you know. Based on what she heard, how the angel was praying for her while she was in the hospital. And you know, the past feud between the two female artists, the angel and the Spice, we see them go at it over social media. But you know, since Spice hospitalized last year we see what happened to her it's like we see the angel she was one of them who came out and support spice during that situation now spice feel a lot more better while she was on her instagram live just lately you know it's like spice i say she aware of what the angel said she don't watch it as yet but it's like her fans telling her about it and she about the positiveness you know while she was on her Instagram live addressing some people who say some bad things about her who spread rumors and all of that while she was in the hospital that's why she mentioned the angel and some other people name who were supporting her during that time now right here footer hyper make we know say the angel she now have no hate towards spice or anything like that is like every time when him talk about Spice, remember Futa Hype always outspoken, lashing out against certain things Spice do in dancehall. Same like when she performed on the Toronto Pride show. Yeah, Futa Hype, him not pretty up nothing. Him say Spice, she have to know what she do in a dancehall because a lot of people look up to her and she can't support certain lifestyle because that that is not about dancehall you know footer i get vexed more while when he matter about spice and a address are so right here is like enough people might not know is like the angel always a come at him and a defend spice and i say you know why him always a talk about spice like that why him always a deal with it so so it's like footer hype was on his instagram live and say him now go confront or say nothing about spice on that specific day that don't mean like footer hype now go come out again and talk about spice but we just a feature this as you know some people might not know say the angel always a different spice check out the audio clip who did not realize say, i mean i win who did not realize say, i mean i win i'm not going to beat spice today because because i'm an ex-wife angel I'm not going to beat Spice today. I'm not sure about next week. But today I'm going to let her slide. I'm going to love her. Because of Angel. Because Angel, our friend. Angel love her. Angel love Spice. Love, love, love Spice. Our friend. So I'm not going to beat her today. Because every time I beat Spice, she ball. Neil, you can't leave Gracie alone. <laughs> so I'm going to leave Gracie alone today. Just because of Angel. See? All right. Alright, so Pampute is set to headline the Toronto Pride Show 2023 LGBTQ Festival in June. Now, this is the same show we see Futa Hype address Spice about last year. So right here, Pampute has announced that she will be performing at the upcoming Toronto Pride 2023 LGBTQ Festival in June. Her announcement comes almost a year after Queen of Dancehall Spice headlined the event sparking a firestorm between herself, Sizzla Kalanji and Futa Hype. Yes, yeah, so Pampute is like she look forward to this, you know, but it's like we already see Futa Hype warning her about it. Remember the same way him did warn Spice and you know, him, him must say uh, that uh, one of the reasons, that are uh, probably the reason why Spice end up in a hospital because you know, she go do something like this and uh, we see right now Futa I uh, say uh, probably the lifestyle she has support why things like that go reach her she did end up in a hospital. Okay, so well known music manager Ramesh Major was reportedly on his way to an event, you know, on the North Coast earlier and one of his vehicles overturned on Edward Siaga Highway. Now that is a chuck. We see Romy, you know, post the photos along with videos on his Instagram page along with the caption saying, Always give thanks for life, hashtag team safe. A lot of people would be sad and fuss and cuss, but this is just life. You have Good days and bad days. Thank God we all have life. Material will come and go. The work must go on. Yes, yeah, so Ramesh, you know, is like 
that is reaction after the truck overturn on the highway and you know we see the fans they must support him same way the accident could have been worse someone could got hurt in it lose them three points and things so you know Ramesh just a give thanks same way boy another day for the work a part of the life what more can I do what we gonna do? Ball, cry, so the work go. You have to lose or win. <laughs> what do you say? Steelers need to pay me. <laughs> well, good morning. Bless up to everybody in the world who is still alive. Give thanks to the ancestors, I'm still here. I'm still up and running. You understand? Remember, a lot of people wish if I wasn't here right now, but I'm here, and the Almighty want me here for a reason, you know. The ancestors want me here for a reason. I just want to say I appreciate everybody, every single person, will listen to me. Remember, somehow, no, Rusty Govan, big up yourself. Um, some of them really come over here for really so we are support for that. Some of them come to just hear with it. So. But I still appreciate it you know, because every listening ears is a listening soul. You understand? If you can save one soul a day, is a good thing. See? I know some of them know why I'm there, you know, but. How does it feel to see footer hype winning? Like big up my people them were loyal and not me at all. Me at the people them when I really like footer. For the things them were footer say and for the things them were footer push forward. Like the one them were named Nightly Fishes now. Interview the youth named Benji. Bring up my name for the youth. Style me. But to the youth say, no, I actually agree with what Futa Hype has said. And Futa Hype has pushed straightness on a different level. And Futa do where even the rest of them should have done. You know, them cut out the whole other part out of the youth interview, right? Yeah, they cut out the whole other part of the youth interview because they imposed the question for him this Futa. Kind of like where dance hall hot seat, you know, where them put on certain people and then them push my name for the people them style me. See? So if the people them style me, them put it out. If the people them in support with me, them cut it out, right? Like, one day, one major, major, major media house, one big media house, I can never tell you this, you know. May I tell you now. One big media house call for your interview with me, right? When them call for the interview, me say, yeah. Ready for do the interview. Them I got to tell about my agency. Them want me address a certain situation. Because them want to hear my views on it. But them no want me mention coffee or Leela Ike. I said I don't want to do no interview. But Chuck Chow the mama. I want to know. Go ahead. And run them away from my blood clot phone. Because them want me address a certain situation. We are lead to a particular person. See? So they want to use me to style that person there. You know? But they know that we didn't that styling of that person there. Me I got clap, Lila, Ike, and coffee. So they might tell me from early say, them would have want me to leave out them two people. So you know, she said, even the media are support corruption. 